We are starting our adventure. Devin and I are doing an out and back from Flagstaff to the Grand Canyon. So it's about 100 miles there. We're going to do that over two days and then it will be about 75 miles back. We're taking a little bit of a shorter route. Bike check for Devin. What, what what are you riding here, bud? We've got the Ibis IV9 yep. carbon. Nice. Um, Onyx hubs. I don't know what the rims are. They're handmade though, but they're sweet. And they're carbon. More carbon. Because he's fancy. Can walls. And a Fox 34. Nice. And then Blackburn bags. But then you're a, you're a tail fin guy. I love the tail fin crap. Yeah. And this is an unusual part right here. I um, haven't really seen that too often, but it is, Forever. what, a gallon? It's four liters. gallon of water. And then he also has this little kangaroo pouch at the bottom, which is pretty cool, too. And, uh, got yeah. My, got my spokes. Oh, yeah, he's got, his, he's got his spare spokes all good. And then a little tail fin top tube bag. I'm surprised your phone hasn't fallen out of this, to be perfectly honest. It's got this thing on there. It's yeah. pretty, it's, it's pretty good. <laughs> My bike, um, it is a Priority 600X Adventure. That's the official name for it. But it has a Pinion C12 uh, transmission in it, 12 gears, and uh, has some water bottle bosses on the back. I don't have these things filled right now because I want to save some weight uh, running some pretty nice uh, Hayes Dominion brakes because you need that stopping power when the bike weighs this much and then I have a little aero harness bag with a dry bag it has all my stuff uh, for sleeping and all that junk and I put aero bars on it which is weird for this trail <laughs> specifically but it's for the way back we're gonna be riding a lot of fire roads on the way back and then uh, this is a tent, uh, not exactly sure which one it was, I forget which one I pulled. And then uh, this is my little food bag, a little Ortlieb uh, quick release bag, so that'll be good. So, Devin and I are just about 19 miles into this ride today. We're at... 8,900 feet, and there's Mount Humphreys in all its glory. Devin's been doing phenomenally today. He's got the legs, so he's been pushing up a ton of the stuff. Devin and I just hit 9,000 feet. 
19 and a half miles. We should be going down anytime now. And we have downhills for the next 26 miles or something. It's either flat or downhill. So that will be nice. That's even more fun. So, Devin and I just crossed the uh, cattle guard to Babbitt Ranch, I believe. Yep. And we're at mile 40 and 41.96. 41.96 or something. And uh, we have about three and a half miles to go down there before our water. And then we turn north onto the Arizona Trail again. This is kind of a new connector. Um, but we've been battling a nasty headwind this whole time. It has been pretty awful. Yes. So. Barely moving. Yeah. On flat ground. Yeah. <laughs> We got cows and headwind. Whoever said I didn't enjoy the gram glamorous life? So you gotta lift it off. There you go. There you go. And then there's something on the ground. Go for it. Just remember to have another two bottles. That'll give me a whole not uh, another liter. Oh, did you fill them up though? Looks like it's raining at uh, Humphreys. Yep. We just crossed about mile 51. We're on a plateau. Just kind of going up and down ravines. The riding's easy. Way easier than this morning. But our problem is that it's uh, it's gonna get wet tonight, and we're getting gusts of 10 to 15 mile an hour winds right now, so it's gonna be a fun one. Um, we're probably gonna ride for a few more miles, find a kind of a secluded place outside the wind that has a few flat sections we can put the tents down. Good morning. It's Saturday, September 23rd, and about 6.30 in the morning, and uh, it has been raining almost all night, off and on, nothing too heavy, it's been mostly sprinkling, but 
this morning it started coming down pretty heavy. So luckily we still have a little bit of time. Another bit of fun fact that I've been dealing with is um, my sleeping mat got a hole in it last night. And it's so far taken four patches to get it to at least hold air and move around to faster try and sit up or anything, it uh, ends up leaking, so I did not get much sleep last night. On top of that, we had a field mouse who really wanted to check out everything that we had throughout camp last night at about 4 a.m., so... Haven't filmed much today because it has been raining like crazy. Right now there's just a mist. Yeah, this mist has lasted for an hour, which is incredibly annoying. But uh, Devin is over here doing a pretty good job. Oops. One handed through a rock garden ain't too much fun. Uh, this is Russell Tank. This is the most I've ever seen water in it, which is pretty cool. So the plan was to filter water out of here, but we found a water cache left by a group of people uh, about, I don't know, seven miles back, something like that. Oh, shoot. <laughs> All right, I gotta put this away before I kill myself. There's just too many rocks. Good morning. It's Sunday, September 24th. Um, we made it into Tessian yesterday and clocked uh, almost exactly 100 miles uh, over the past two days. We ended up doing a hotel room, as you can see, but we probably needed it because yesterday about seven, eight miles uh, before we made it into town, we got completely trapped in a uh, rainstorm. And when it rains out here, the ground becomes this nasty clay stuff and it picks up uh, pretty much every little rock and whatever sticks to your tires. It's pretty nasty. So my bike uh, actually got kind of screwed up a little bit because uh, some of that mud was starting to kick up and then it kicked up rocks into my belt drive which is a bit of a problem because uh, you don't want that belt to stretch too too much by having these rocks go through the cogs. I had to do a quick field repair on the bike. Uh, took the belt off. Uh, Devin snagged a bunch of water from a cow trough uh, that was uh, close by and we ended up spending about half an hour cleaning out the drivetrain, ended up putting the belt back on, uh, cleaned out the brakes and all that fun stuff. So so anytime it rains, anywhere, anytime you're near Tessian, don't bother doing the section of trail between Grandview Trailhead and Tessian because you're just going to get destroyed. First thing I need to do is play with my um, sleeping mat. It's a Thermarest x light mat and it got a pretty nasty hole in it uh, last night, two nights ago. And I need to try and fix it because there is nowhere in town here that I can get one. And uh, I'll see if I can get this thing patched and go from there. The more rubber cement and patches you put on something, the better air it will hold, right? That's what I'm hoping. All right. Sunday, September 24th. 03, we are heading our way out of Tessian. 
11.41. Oh, at 11.41, yes. <laughs> uh, we had a very lo uh, late, late start today out of the hotel room. Um, but we're going to be doing about 45 to 50 miles of gravel riding today. And that should be totally fine for what we're trying to do here. And then, uh, yeah, we should be all set. We're going to try and camp out and then finish the ride tomorrow morning. So, anyway, we uh, start the ride today with a climb of a fairly steep gravel road. So we're about 19 miles into day three, and we've just been hanging out on these crazy fire roads all day. Um, I think we've seen two people in the past three hours, which is pretty cool. But we are cruising through some pretty remote fire roads. They're just rocky. If you sliced a tire here, that would not be a good thing. We've had some uh, significant issues today, actually. Um, one of my brake pads decided to fall off on the rear. When I did the fix yesterday from all the mud, apparently I didn't put the retaining pin through one side of the pads. And then my rear through axle was extremely loose. So that was gonna cause a lot of problems. So anyway, Devin's doing okay. Actually, I keep forgetting to use his trail name, Rabbit. Devin and I are just down off the mountain now. We are about 6,500 feet of elevation here but we were up at 73 earlier. So, pretty good amount of descent. Right now we're just riding gravel roads and these little double track roads. You can see Humphreys in the background, Kendall Mountain, and the mountains around Williams in the distance. So we're doing all right. Obviously day three, putting in some difficult miles, not necessarily high, high miles. And it's caused us some issues as far as just being exhausted. But you know, it is what it is. We're at mile 137 for the trip, and about 38 for the day. We are on the other side of Mount Kendrick, I believe it's called. And we're in the middle of this amazingly beautiful valley. Dev's just in front. He seemed to have caught a second wind because we ate a little bit of food and he's just been on a tear for the past half hour. We stopped at mile 41 for the day last night and camped at this okay spot had a couple of flat sections and some trees luckily there was no wind last night and we didn't have any visitors from critters which was cool and uh we're getting a late start it's almost 9 30. so at this point we have to do 37 more miles well, at least starting off on gravel roads when your legs are tired in the morning is not a bad way to do it. Oh, those legs hurt. Oh, exactly. <laughs> they hurt so bad. <laughs> How's yours? Oh, they're hurting bad. It'll take a minute. Yeah. 
So we are entering kind of a weird place. <laughs> it's called the Pumpkin Center, and it's on the west side of Kendrick Mountain at about 7,300 feet of elevation. I had no idea this place existed, but we've been riding a little over an hour now, about halfway up the mountain. So this is the Pumpkin Center. Oh, little doggo. Maybe not so little. Oh, they got a cow. A couple of them. Actually, there's a bunch laying in the field, too. No. No. He's fine. He's fine. He's just a bitch. Probably doesn't get a lot of uh, people out here. That's about 173 miles for the trip. And we're finishing off the rest on the Arizona Trail. We've been on fire roads and gravel and all this other stuff for the past little bit, so it's nice to get out and do some single track again, even though it is considerably harder. Almost done. Just barely getting back to... 500 feet left. Back to Back to Rabbit's house. How you doing? Yeah. Nothing. I can't shift because I'm using a GoPro. <laughs> You're a single speed. <laughs> All right. Whoa. Here we are. Back to the house. Hundred and sixty seven miles? I got one eighty three. There's no way. That watch is stupid. <laughs> I'm taking it. It's two ten in the afternoon on Monday, September twenty fifth. And we started this morning at 9.45. Got a pretty late start. And I figured it was going to take us at least six hours. But we rolled in in four hours and 24 minutes. Overall, pretty satisfied. Dev, are you pretty satisfied? Oh, Or ra Rabbit? So glad we're done. Good job, fellas. <laughs> so, I, I tried to explain this a little bit earlier, but... We decided uh, we needed trail names, and Devin is Rabbit, and I'm Belts because of the belt on my bike. So, yeah, I think that's going to stick. All right, shower time, pack up, food. It's on the agenda. Bye.